I got saved, I just, we just sat on the pew. Mm -hmm. You know, everything looked so simple. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, we didn't really see the big picture. Mm -mm. But when I got called into the ministry and, and I got to sitting with the, the ministers and all the bishops and stuff like that, and, and just to hear some of them talk and um, dialogue and what have you, I said, wow, I didn't know that all of this be going on. Sandy Powell, welcome to the round table. Uh, my topic for today is a nation that must return to God. It is in the atmosphere. We hear it, we feel it, we know it. Yet we find ourselves still running in the same vein, running the same paths, and not adhering to what we hear God saying. We are a nation that must return back to God, His principles and his standards. Yes. And I have with me today, <clears throat> pastor, also as an evangelist, Gary Johnson, senior, yes. to talk with me today on this very topic. And I want you all to join me in just welcoming here to the round table. Thank you for being here, sir. Thank you for an opportunity yes, to be sir. here. I, I have to say, the reason why you're sitting here this moment mm -hmm. is because I, follow you on on Facebook yeah. and your show. I call it your show, but you, you probably just call it tuning into Facebook. But your show, you were speaking about this, mm -hmm. about the church mm -hmm. and the vein that we're running in and how we are running opposite of what God yeah. you hear and and what I hear and so many others hear. Mm -hmm. We are we're not, we're, not, we're not praying enough, yeah. I think you said. Yeah. Can you tell me what the burden you felt that night? What yeah. were you speaking to? Uh, well, my heart is kind of broken. And um, when I look and I see the condition of the church and how it has... <clears throat> pretty much transitioned within the last 20 years. And, right. and we could pretty much attest that there's been so much of a right. change in right. um, um, what, what it used to be. Right. And, um, and it's, my burden is, is that, um, is that our mind, where, 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 where are our minds pertaining to God? God. First, God. And if our hearts is not God first, right. you know, and there are going to be uh, some problem as far as the church arena. Right. Because if our heart is not right with God, then we, it's, it's a strong possibility that we're not going to be able to lead the church. Right. And that's, <clears throat> that's one of my deepest concerns. Um, are we more focused on the, the structure of the church? Right. Or are we focused in on kingdom? Kingdom matters. And kingdom matter being soul saving. Soul saving. Delivering people yeah. from the bondages yeah. of sin yeah. and, and, and curses and yeah. things that they, yeah. you know, complex with. Yeah. Uh, my thought, it was the same. Yeah. You know, when you were speaking, mm -hmm. you were compelling. Yeah. You, were, you were weeping almost. Mm -hmm. I could almost see mm -hmm. you weeping in your spirit that mm -hmm. we've got to set aside. You even said this. You said... We got to set aside, uh, make it another conference, yeah. you know, trying to have another conference, yeah. trying to have another, you know, this church 
being a mega ministry yeah. or something like that, yeah. you were saying even, yeah. and you know, we know that, mm -hmm. that at one point the church was about being a big ministry. Yeah. It wasn't about souls. Mm -hmm. It was about numbers of people yeah. in your church. Yeah. And that is the, the, the burden I think you're talking about, yeah. that we've gotten away from yeah. what God initially yeah. had set up for us yeah. through, through Christ Jesus. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we've got our priorities. We've, mm -hmm. we've got our priorities mm -hmm. wrong mm -hmm. as, as far as the church. You know, and like you were saying, we're, we're, we're focusing on the numbers. Right. We're focusing on the numbers. And uh, it's about focusing on the lost. Right. Focusing on the lost. Not, not the numbers. Right. But, but the lost. Right. You know, and, and that's, that's where, we've, where, where we've fallen. Right. And then we feel that we've reached a level of accomplishment once we've arrived with a status of so many members and right. what have you. Right. Like we like we <clears throat> please God now at yeah. this point. Yeah. When in actuality, have we? Yeah. If yeah. you grow your ministry from ten to two hundred, yeah. have you pleased God? Yeah. Are the people uh, delivered? Are yeah. they saved? Are they set free? That's that's the key. That's the key. The, that's 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 the key. Uh, first letter. That's that's you you said something right there. Yeah. That's yeah. the key. <clears throat> it's about um, it's about getting people off of drugs, right? Salvation, right? Give them a, a, a turnaround, right? You know, a, a godly sense of direction, right? Because where we are right now, I mean, we're preaching, but our message is is ineffective. We 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 we, we ineffective, <clears throat> right? I mean, we are not reaching. We're using, we're, we're pretty much using secular messages or right. secular, using the secular arena to reach the world. Right. And, exactly. that's, uh, um, and that's exactly what a lot of ministries are doing. So we're feeding the sick yeah. more stuff that is what they're sick from, from the what beginning. They're sick from. So we're taking the secular world, yeah. putting our little spin on yeah. it. They're already sick from yeah. the world, and we're yeah. feeding it back to them, and yeah. they're not getting any better. They're not getting any better. Because we're not, we're not teaching salvation yeah. and deliverance. Yeah. We are trying to win membership. Yeah. And salvation is not the issue anymore. It's not. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not even it anymore. It's about growing and developing our ministry and becoming noticeable. Yes. You know. Being... Uh, Great. Being great. Being uh, the elite. Yeah. Somebody that people ought to take notice. Yeah. I said this. <laughs> I was going. I said, Lord, if you ever give me a chance to stand before some leaders. Yeah. But when did the message that Jesus Christ gave us to preach, when did it ever turn from Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. to I'm going to be somebody in mm -hmm. the kingdom? Wow. When, when was that message ever given to us to teach yeah. that wow. we're going to be somebody? Wow. When were we ever supposed to be promoted, yeah. sir? Yeah. Were we ever supposed to be promoted? Mm. I don't think we were. Yeah. But somehow we have gotten to the point now we think that the, the message ought to be about my edification mm -hmm. and not edification as a, as a, a saint, but, a, but edification as I'm somebody. Mm. And you better take notice. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why you might not take notice is because you my hater. Yeah. Wow. Where did we come up with this message? Wow. You know, that's, that's an interesting, inter interesting question. <laughs> you know, that's an interesting question. Um, it's, 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 yeah. it's a sad thing. Yeah. Um, what we have done is we have taken the platform that God gave us mm, yes. to preach Jesus mm. and Jesus alone, mm. and we have made it the platform for me. Yeah. In other words, we there are some people like, like um, Billy Graham. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows his name. Right. But everybody knows Billy Graham's name for one thing, 
because he taught salvation. Salvation. Right? Mm -hmm. And so now we take what he did and we're trying to put a formula to it so that we can now become a Billy Graham, which is mm -hmm. a household name, mm -hmm. but not remembering what made him a household name yeah. was that he taught Jesus Christ. Taught Jesus Christ. That's it. Yes. So right. now we, we're, we're using other things to, to, to talk about and to teach mm -hmm. to become that household name yeah. when that was never, never ever supposed to be our purpose. Right. It was never supposed to be our, our reason for why we run. And yes, I believe right. Billy Graham, that wasn't his, he, he didn't get up in the morning to, to strive for that. Yeah. It happened because of, of his message yes. of Jesus Christ and yes. salvation and turn to Christ. And, and so he became a household name. Yes. And so you made a statement in the, uh, on your broadcast, uh, we've sinned against God. Yeah. We've sinned against God, yeah. a nation. They have sinned against God. Yeah. Well, talk about that a little bit. <clears throat> you know, it, that's, that is critical. That, that's a, that, that is a, um, a dangerous place to be mm -hmm. when we walk away from God, when we sin against God. Mm -hmm. When we walk away from God, when the church, when the church turns, it can... It can cause a lot of things to happen. It can cause a lot of things to happen. David, God took me to uh, 2 Samuel um, 24 mm -hmm. and 1. Mm -hmm. um, God anger was kindled against David. One, he numbered the people. Yes, sir, he did that. He numbered the people. Mm -hmm. And when he did that, his heart was smoldering that he knew that he had sinned against God. Right. And because, and because of that rebellion, that, I believe that was about 70,000 people That's right. perished right. during that process. Right. And that was an angel. That was an angel standing, suspended in the air with his sword, stretched, yes. stretched out. And the people were dying under David's command. And the prophet Gad, God tells That's the right. prophet Gad to talk to David to go and build an altar. Yes. A threshing Lord. floor. Yes. A threshing Lord. floor. Yes, Lord. And I, I you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm and that was the only, the only solution. That was the only mm -hmm. solution that would cause the death angel to put down his sword. Right. People were dying. People were dying. And, and, and when we walk away from God, God will allow death and destruction to yes. come in. Yes. And there's a reason why. It's to get the people back... Yes. In position, yes. And, and this is what, and this is why I believe we're seeing so much chaos, so many deaths, our children. And uh, the Lord gave me something a few years ago, and this was right before my son passed. Right. He said, "I'm coming, and I'm coming at the ages from from 17 to 26." Wow. 17 to 26. And, it's, and it started from my church, started uh, from, my, from my church, and it started branching out. And then my son just happened to fall in, into that number. My Lord. A few years ago, I was headed home. I was praying and, and seeking the Lord as I was driving, and it was a clear sky. The, the, the moon was shining bright. Mm -hmm. And I was coming up to my home, and I stopped at the the stop sign there, mm -hmm. and I looked at the peripheral vision, the left side, and I could see an image, but when I pulled off and I stopped and I looked to my left, and I could see, sister, there was a, a skull and bone figure that was in the sky, and it was so clear it was so clear to the point that I could not say that it was real. 
And so when I backed up to look again, it vanished. It vanished. And God gave me the, the interpretation. I'm about to cry over this. And he gave me the interpretation that there's death over our city. There's death over our nation. And we've got to turn back to him. And if we don't, they're going to be, lo they're going to be souls that's going to be lost. And if the church, if the church don't get in position to seek his face, like what he's telling David to do, and when David go and put together this threshing floor that God told him, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, I forget the name of the guy that owned the property, and when he see King David coming, and his first thought was to give David right. that property. Right. But David said, I would not mm -hmm. make a sacrifice unto God except it cost me something. 50 shekels of silver right. that he paid right. for this, this threshing floor. And there, and, I, and there was the pivotal moment where David would meet God. And that threshing floor was a representation yes. of God's judgment upon sin, what he would separate yes. evil from, from yes. you know, he, was, mm -hmm. he would do the, the cleansing process in that God had to break David he had to break David. David had to see his sin. And the same principle, First Lady. Yes. We've got to see. We've got to see what we're wrong and what hurts God. And if we never see what hurts God, then we will never be able yes. to fulfill this mission. That's exactly right. We would never be able to do that. Exactly. Because right. we don't have the heart. Right. Our hearts. Yes. Our hearts got to be broken. Yes. It seems like it's the only time that we understand mm. um, to to turn around yeah. is when it is hurtful yes in pain and in suffering yes we and it's throughout the Bible mm -hmm. where the people of God stiff neck mm. the people of God uh, they know what God has said yeah. but for some reason we walk in disobedience we walk in our own ways and yeah. our own principles and our own yeah. statutes we know the statue of God mm. Yet, the only time we seem to find ourselves turning back to God is when there's destruction, mm. pain, mm. And, 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 and things that are not going well mm. for the nation. Mm. And I believe you, because yes. I, I, I feel the same burden. Yeah. We are Thank there. Yeah. We are in the perilous times. Yeah. And people don't understand that. I hear these words that are going out about prosperity mm. and, 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 and coming on the rise and all of these things. And, and God knows, I'm not saying that people aren't going to prosper and, mm -hmm. and, and wealth is not going to come. To, I'm not saying that. But that is not the church's priority mm. right now. Mm -hmm. We are to be what you said, on our knees before God, mm. repenting. Yeah. You yeah. know, me, myself, I think before the show, you and I were talking. And I always say this. I say this to people all the time. I never confess that I always did it right. Right. Mm -hmm. I done it wrong real big. Many times. Many times. But you get to a point in your life where you say enough is enough. Mm -hmm. And you turn to God. Repentance must take place. Mm -hmm. And as a nation, see, first of all, we, we are a nation of idol worshipers. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. Everybody gets to worship what they want to worship, mm. who they want to worship, you, when Lord. they want to worship, Thank if you. they want to worship. Yeah. We are just a nation of idol worshipers. Yeah. Yes. But the believer, mm -hmm. we are the ones that are, like you said, cry loud, mm -hmm. spare not. We've got to hold the standard yeah. and the statutes. We've got to be the one that, that the people see God in us. Mm. Yeah. We've got to let the manifestation of the yeah, Spirit of the right. Lord come through us. If they don't see oh, it through God, us, yeah. they're not going to they're see lost. it. Yeah. And like you said with David, he had to get on the threshold. It had to happen. Yeah. He had to, it had to be a distinction. Mm. Yes, Lord Jesus. We're our nation that's got to turn back to God. We, we, we got to. If, if we don't get this right, like you mm. said, it's not like God's going to change his mind. Yeah. He has never changed his mind right. about sin. Never. He hates it. Yeah. He's never going to embrace never it. Never going to embrace it. When are we mm. going to get that? Mm. The grace message is trying to give people that impression. Mm -hmm. Though we are saved by grace, mm -hmm. 
because grace abound, yes. shall we continue yes. in Thank you, Lord. sin? Yes, yes. Yes. No, we're no longer slave yes. to sin. Yes. We're slave now to the Holy yes. Ghost, yes. to the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. We have been free by the bondage of yes. sin, by Jesus Thank Christ you. and the blood that he shed. Yes. But for some reason, we want to hold on to the sin. Yeah. We want to hold on to the old man. Yes. We don't want to walk in the statutes yes, of God. Lord. And we want to cloak it underneath uh, God's love for us. Yes. And yes, it does. his love yes. is there, but he is not going to embrace yes sin yes the wages of it i want to say this to you um and I, I and i appreciate because sometimes it's like you're on the island of patmos you know you know what i mean i know exactly what you mean and it's like am i the only am i the only person that's seeing what's mm. what's truly going on mm -hmm. am i and we, we ask that question yes lord and uh and i and i want to say i appreciate you because what what god have done what god is doing for me and this is the god and his truth yes and i say god i i can't i can't tolerate this type stuff mm -hmm. i said and even to this day if god doesn't hook me up with you that won't be no hookup. Mm -hmm. You right. you understand what I'm saying? Right. Be, in, in, for one, I'm 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 frightened, and because of where I've been, right? You know, w things I've seen, right? And and I say, God, I, say, I know that there are seven, that, that that there are seven thousand other, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. have not bowed, mm -hmm. bowed have not to bowed bow. to bail. That's right. You know, and and. And, and, and what I'm saying is, is that I appreciate and I thank God that your eyes is open, mm -hmm. that you can really see what's going on. It's, it's not, we know the world laws. Yeah. But when it comes to the church, when the church get to incorporating all of these, these things in their church and we're calling it God and we believe that God is well pleased with it, that's the dangerous thing. Right. You know, and that is that is that is where we are. Right. That is that is where we are, and 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 sometimes I sit back and I I look and I'm I'm praying. I'm broken, and I'm crying. I say, yes. God, I say, I, I need you to do something. I I, I need you to do something. I, I I need you to do something. What can I do? Mm -hmm. uh, what what can I do? And look like whenever I do something, it's just just not enough. I understand that. You, you understand? Oh, I get it. It it's just not enough. And then it's too early to celebrate. Yeah. Does that make sense? It, uh, you, you, I'm preaching to the mirror, and I, uh -huh. I feel like I'm talking to myself mm -hmm. because, like you said, sometimes I feel like yeah. I'm the only one sometimes yeah. that, that is hearing this yeah. or uh, paying attention at least sometimes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I want to explain it, mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm not giving it enough, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not speaking it well yeah. enough or I'm not explaining it well yeah. enough and are they understand because I'll be ministering I say, are you under, are you yeah. hearing me yeah. you know and, and and I know what you're saying because you you feel the presence of the Lord in it mm -hmm. and you want everybody to hear it and feel it like you see it and you feel it yeah because yeah. it's just pressing on you like yeah. that I also carry that burden of yeah. praise him uh, God is not pleased with the, the way the church is going yeah. in the sense of the way we're moving away from him, his righteousness, and how yeah. he has set his yeah. standards up for the church, wow. for the believers, and that we compromise yeah. too much. Yes, yes. You Lord. know, Lord. and, and people think that I mean that you can't have fun. Yeah. I'm a jokester. Yeah. yeah. Amen. I'm a jokester, you yeah. all. But there's a time mm -hmm. for everything. Yeah. There's a time to laugh and a time to cry. Yes. You see, and this is somebody told me one time, one day they said, "Prophetess, you need to get you some rest." Mm. I said, "This is not the season for rest. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is not the season for us to rest. We are in warfare. Mm -hmm. We are. We if Thank I you. take rest right now, mm -hmm. if you take rest right now, there's going to be a loss. Mm -hmm. And so it's not. We have to know the time and the season and the time when we're supposed to do things or not do things. Yeah. And right now, you talked about yeah. prayer. Yeah. Pastor, 
I want to come to the church sometime and just lay out. I don't want to mm, do nothing, praising. say nothing. I just yeah. want to pray. Thank I just you. want to talk to God about yes. everything and nothing. Yes. Because it's just that time. Yeah. You're you really blessing me right now. <laughs> you yeah. blessed my yeah. soul Wednesday. So yeah. I'm going to go take back to you what yeah. you said. And, and everything. My husband, he'll attest to it. We would, we would drive. And, and I, all I could say was just God. Mm. He's saying exactly what I've been saying. Mm -hmm. He's talking exactly like I've been talking. Mm -hmm. He's saying it the same way I hear it in my head. Yeah. It's coming out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was a confirming word yeah. that God said what he said to me mm -hmm. about the church. Mm -hmm. We got to raise the standard. Raise the standard. Yeah. We, we, we saying the nation uh, uh, is in turmoil, mm -hmm. but we're not doing anything to turn it around. Yeah. We're contributing it to the yeah. turmoil. Mm -hmm. We're contributing to the drama, to yeah. the to the uh, the anguish of our world. Mm -hmm. We are partakers yeah. of the sin. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> I I got that here is, a note. Yes. Um. So you said I said sin has brought destruction to our nation. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about killings, uh, murders, mass murder. Mm -hmm. It's going throughout our nation. Yeah. People just losing their mind mm. and going in and just killing up folk for mm. absolutely no reason. Mm -hmm. Some for race, some for mm. just some, whatever their little platform may be. Yeah. It's just the devil and, yeah. and, 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 the devil. and all of his evil that he likes yeah. to, to inflict upon the, yeah. the earth yes. because he hate God. Yes, hate God, yes. And I say that in order to get the hand of God to move, it's going to take the fervent prayers of the righteous. The fervent prayer. You know, we, you know, um, you get my tissue. Get your tissue. You know, um, we, we can't, Jesus, majority of his ministry, it was, it was about prayer. Yeah. Can you pray with me one hour? Okay, one hour. Just, just one hour. Can you pray for me one hour? But they was asleep. Sleep. Men should always, men should always pray. Prayer should be the forefront of our lives yes. every day. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. And it, it is a part of our life. Um, it's like breathing. Yes. If you can't breathe, you'll die. And if we if we can't pray, if we won't pray, we are dying. We're dying. And, we, and that is what's happening. Exactly. The church is dying. Yeah. And it's going to take prayer. And it's going to take fervent prayer. Right. And it's going to take the body. And right. this is where common leadership, it, this is something that we're going to have to really teach and not worry about um, the repercussions. Right. You know, how people feel. Right. You know, we we adapted to how they feel. We don't want to hurt the feelings and things of that nature. But sometimes you've got to hurt people feelings. Yes. The gospel is offensive. It is. The gospel is offensive. It is. Jesus told us he was coming for that reason. Yeah, that he did say it. He said that. I heard a young lady make a statement that said, that's why millennials don't come to church because uh, they don't want to be judged. Thank you. They don't want to be.